Good evening, Arizona. I'm Patty Kirkpatrick. Developing news at this hour. A sexual predator stalking the valley has struck again, this time near I-17 and Indian School Road. That's right on the edge of the attacker's primary target area. The good news is, once again, this victim got away uninjured. Our Marissa Wingate joins us live now at police headquarters with this still developing story. Marissa? Yeah, Patty, even with all this publicity, police say that that suspect was brazen enough to try to attack again just last night. As you mentioned, now we have a total of 12 girls who are involved because they tell us in his first two cases he had tried to attack two girls at the same time, making the number 12. And police say right now they've set up a task force and finding him is their top priority. It's a sketch we've plastered all over our news. A sexual predator accused of preying on young girls ranging in age from 7 to 17, the majority between 9 and 12. Police say he's hitting common areas like apartment complexes in the middle of the day, mostly between 2 and 7 p.m. And just last night, around 8 p.m., police say he tried to strike again. This time it was a 13-year-old girl, once again outside an apartment complex. He approached her. She ran, he then ran, got into a, a car, and left the scene. But not before police say a witness got a look at his infamous gray four-door sedan. We're told the attack happened near 23rd Avenue and Glen Rosa. In fact, as many as seven of the attacks have happened on or near Glen Rosa, all within this target area between Camelback and Indian School, 19th Avenue and I-17, an area packed with apartment complexes. But we've learned two happened just east of the area, one near 26th Place and McDowell, the other near 19th. Street and Osborne. And police say one attack happened to the west of it all near 41st Avenue and Osborne. He is uh, brazen enough to go into these public areas in the daytime where people are, work are working or are living or walking through or hanging out or kids playing and that's been his, his method. In some cases he has no conversation whatsoever. In some cases, he just walks up and says hello. So far, police say it has ended in attempted sexual assaults with fondling. They're hoping they can find him before it gets worse. The Phoenix Police Department is using every resource we have available. And Patty, here's a better look at the suspect and his description. Police say it varies because we're dealing with young girls here who are trying to remember what they saw. But he's said to be Hispanic or white, 20 to 30 years old, 5'2 to 6 feet tall, weighing 150 to 250 pounds. He's believed to have dark hair, short or spiked hair, and possibly wearing dark rimmed glasses in some of the cases. Police believe he drives a gray four-door car. Anyone with information is asked to call silent witness at 480-WITNESS. And Patty, police say all of his victims have been Hispanic except for two were Asian and one Caucasian. We're live in Phoenix, Marissa Wingate, 3TV, the place with more news. Marissa, this guy seems to be so busy. Um, there is a reward out there, right? Yeah, there is a reward. I believe it's between $4,000 and $5,000, so a pretty hefty reward if you find this guy. And obviously call Silent Witness if you have any information. Thank you very much for that, Marissa.